So what's my point? My point for this question, so that's, let's say that's question one, that's question two. My point or pill, so my first point is, Australia has been influenced by globalization through embracing trade, okay? That's my point. Australia will be trade in the global economy. Okay. So that's my point. What's my so I'm making the cause and effect. So the cause is trade. The effect is more liberalized, uh, more connected to the global economy. Remember, E is your evidence. Okay, so what's my evidence that I know this cause and effect? Explain. Well, I might say, look, um, in 19, uh, uh, I'm going to put a combo of policies. Okay, so put your combo of evidence. So this is my combo of evidence. I'm going to say in 1983, we signed the GATT, or signed or joined um, GATT, which is the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. Now it's called the WTO. Uh, when we remember what Miss was saying, that the whole point of GATT is to enforce international trade, okay? So they negotiate trade, uh, negotiate um, world trade. All right, here's my other combo. Australia has been it because you can see it through the bilateral and multilateral agreement. So um, you've got the bilateral agreements. Here we go. This is to show my research. I'm going to change colours because I'm showing my research now. We signed a bilateral agreement with NZ in 1983. Singapore. In 2003. Thailand. 2005. US and Chile. In 2009. China. 2016. This is examples, all right, such as, okay, so if I put all of them down, if I put all of them down, I would list out 12. But can you see through that, I'm flexing my research, I'm showing them that I know what happened in 1983, and I know what's happening right now in 2016, and I'm even going to flex more with a red pen. I even know what we're currently setting up, which is we're about to set up our partnership with Indonesia. Woo! And this is? Pending. So the blue and the red is to flex a bit to show that I've done the research. I know the evidence of why we're connected because we are part of the WTO or GATT. We've done all these bilateral agreements. We're also part of multiple multilateral agreements. And I even know what's pending, which is our agreement with Indonesia. So you tell me that's like a 21 out of 20, isn't it? Like three nights. Yeah, very nice. Very nice, thank you. That's what mess. Yeah. Oh, what? That's, I'm editing all of you out. Okay, all right. So. Well, Miss, if in, the, um, in the exam, could we just like use dot point for forms, right? Or do you have to like list it? No, I think it's good in like a paragraph form. Right. Yeah, so okay. evidence. That's fine. Okay, so I've done my evidence, boys. Um, and, and like I said, you know, the economic reason of the bilateral, okay, don't worry about that one. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the explanation. Thank you. Why want to come in the video, Josh? <laughs> now I've got to put emoji on you. Okay, thank you. All right, so I've done the cause and effect, boys. Now I need to evaluate the strategies, okay? So link. So link it back and be like Australia has uh, been uh, heavily involved. in trade or uh, world trade with its... Oh, I'm not going to do explanation because it's just explain the first bit, yeah? In world trade, uh, we have been heavily involved in world trade um, and in the process of globalisation. Of globalisation. So I'm addressing that first bit, boys. Now, this is where everyone gets it wrong. The next bit, which is your strategies, need to link to this. Got it? So, now I'm going to say, we've been heavily involved in world trade in the process of globalisation. Now, my next point, in response to this, in response, 
uh, policies and strategies uh, have been uh, put in place to further promote trade or sorry free trade uh, uh, to promote free trade and thus improve Oz economic eco growth and development. Okay, so I'm making my general statement, my big point, and now I'm going to explain it. Okay, so now I'm going to explain. All right, so expl explanation. What policies and strategies have been put place? Well, the first one is from my research boys, EDMs. Okay, we haven't learnt this yet. This is pe another pending thing. So the Australian actually, government actually gives you export grants if you want to market Australian products overseas. So they'll supplement 50% of your um, promotion strategies. If you want to promote to, let's say, another country like Vietnam or China, they, they will actually supplement 50% of that marketing material. So this is just for my research, okay? You can have a research from your country. Yeah, Adi. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Adrian. Sure. <laughs> oh, I'll edit that one out. But remember, the more recent, the more better. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm giving an explanation. We've done a policy. Yes. Yeah. Supposed to be peel. Yeah. That's pel. Yeah, I said pel peel. <laughs> We're doing pel peel because I only need to explain cause and effect. I'm not going to go on bang on about hours for that because the main one is evaluate. Yeah. Okay. Let's peel so peel. How many paragraphs would you aim to have? If you're going to go this much in depth, like how many paragraphs? So that would be one, and then that would be your second one in response. In response to that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, but then yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to drop. Liberal, liberalization this, this is separate from the other one, one would be... Uh, Investment. Investment. Okay. But listen, how would you uh, address economic growth and development? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in this. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it combo style. All right? All right. Uh, I should have one of those emojis that's like combo style. I don't know, whatever. Okay, let me continue. Expl explanation. So, we've uh, had policies and strategies that we've put in place, boys. Um, so, I'll put one in, which is we've put in the export, my combo, export uh, EDM, so export uh, development marketing or marketing. So, pretty much these are uh, grants by the federal government. Um, to subsidise, uh, so subsidise fifty percent of advertising or promotion for Australian exports. Okay. All right. I might lose out of space, but that's because I want to get it on camera. So I might talk about this, and I say, look. To how much? I've done my research. Up to this point, we spent about two hundred and seven million dollars as of twenty twenty April on this particular policy. Combo with that as well, you can see we already see through the bilateral agreements. Um, you've got um, multiple. You've got your multilateral agreements. So we've been more heavily involved in things like. Um, you know, the OECD, APEC, all these mo other multilateral agreements. Um, so more multilateral agreements, especially in Northeast, uh, North East Asia. Okay, so that's evident from this before, when I talked about the fact that we moved directions towards Thailand, China and Indonesia. So the multilateral agreements or bilateral agreements confirm that. Why do we do this? Well, Go back here to theory. This is when I have to do my economic reasoning. We want to get into um, more of the free trade boys, so economic reasoning, because of comparative advantage. We know that if we sell something that we are good at exporting, because we have the comparative advantage, we have a low opportunity cost, we can actually uh, benefit from 
comparative advantage leads to higher incomes or export incomes. And then I've got to bring in my friend Keynes because Keynes said that exports are a injection. There you go. Bring my mate Keynes. He said that this was an injection in exports. So if they can promote more exports to other countries with promotion and marketing strategies, plus the free trade agreements, then you've got more injections to uh, uh, exports, which leads to increases in economic growth, which leads to, obviously, when people have more incomes, more economic growth, they have a higher standard of living. They have more money to invest in health and education. All right? Woo! Flexing style. What is what's in So you've got... Um, so I, I couch it under opportunities for investment in health. And higher quality of life. All right, so I'm flexing. I went from here to here to here to here in four steps. But I'm showing my economic reasoning, I'm flexing a little bit, and the guy reading it is just like, oh, wow, good on ya. Okay. Oh, wow. So, explanation. Yes. Yeah. Economic reasoning is part of explanation. Yeah. So you back it up with what you see, and you back it up with the economic reasoning. And now, and then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to give evidence. This on is all one paragraph. No, this, is, two. This, is two, this is the second paragraph. Okay? Oh, Sorry, mate. So I'm going back. I'm going explaining. I'm giving the economic theory. And then I'm going to evaluate now. I'm going to make a judgment. Did it work? Do I have evidence that it worked? So uh, yeah, Ashwin? Um, the same thing with investment. Investment is an injection. Same thing. When you've got more investment, boys, obviously um, people have the opportunity to increase their development. But what you'll find, boys, in your emerging economies, because you're all looking at emerging economies, mm -hmm. is that any money that they receive from trade usually gets spent on health and education for individuals. So there is um, economic inequality, but overall, boys, it goes back into investments in health and education, it, investments in improving your quality of life. All right, How, how's my video? All right, you tracking with me online? Okay. It's not even in the video. Huh? It's not even in there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I thought you made way No. They're not going to merge you out. Okay. All right. Have I got, are uh, you ready for the explanation? Yes, Ness. Woo! All okay, right, let's go. Uh, evidence. So. I now I'm going to evaluate and I'm going to say this has been excellent, hey, all right? Because I'm making a correlation that um, China and Northeast Asian exports are 36.9% of our exports, okay? Evidence. Is China and Northeast Asia that's the that's the stat twenty twenty. Yep. So economic reasoning is part of the theory, not yep. the what? So I'm gonna go explain. Explain the economic theory, then I'm gonna go show you the evidence. So I'm going around. Okay? But did you say it was wasn't it increase of of thirty something? Oh no, so we know this because sixty three point three percent of Australian exports is from China. Is oh sorry is to China. Uh, yeah sorry goes to yeah yep goes to China Northeast Asia second stat that I'm gonna blow them away is obviously um, we've had high export incomes so we're now at this point where's my stat twenty one percent of GDP is actually um, twenty uh, sorry. Let's do the other stat first. We're at good surplus. We're at a surplus of exports. And the total amount that I checked with my research was 
96,787. Okay. Um, so we've got a surplus of exports, which means that we're going well with our exports. We're banking on, on this economic reasoning. The other thing, boys, is obviously now we've got our GDP. This exports account for um, we account for 21 percent of GDP. Oh, come on. 2018, 2019. Let's keep going. I'm just going to give them stats. So we, our exports have gone up. And then as a result, boys, we've had uh, 28 years of consecutive economic growth. Now I need to go to development. So development is from 1990s, I'm actually gonna put in a trend. So I'm gonna correlate that ever since we started embracing free trade in 1989, or eight, 1983, or 1990s, you know, um, in, when we started all of these bilateral trade agreements, from the 1990s to 2018, boys, our HDI actually increased um, from uh, 0 0.866 to 0 0.938, all right? So HDI went from 0 0.866 to 0 0.938. Why is this? Because our GNI per capita went up by Nine, uh, 59.34% at this time as well. So can you see how I'm correlating it with the GNI per capita? I'm using one aspect of human development and I'm saying, well, the trend in the GNI per capita has gone up by 59.34% um, at the same time that we started all of these bilateral agreements, 1990s to 2018. So, what I've done is I've shown the evidence by stepping them through. I stepped them through how it changed exports, how it actually has increased our, our surplus of exports, yes. how much exports account for GDP of growth, and then how did the growth at the same time increase our HDI, which was based on our GNI per capita. Yeah, surplus of exports, 96 million. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, yes. So, what you want to see, boys, is that if you can see I've done my research, I've got all my stats, I'm correlating, I'm making economic relationships between growth and development, not just here. So, I've made it here, but I've also made it here as well. So, I'm showing economic relationships. Um, I'm showing that I've done more research than us with the 2020 that and also the EDMs. So, everything I've got is basically 2020 stats, 2020 stats. It's recent. It's to the T. And I have covered all my bases. I've answered the question, haven't I? I've explained the influence. Uh, and then later on, I will peel. So you've got to link it back. So I'll link it back and said, look, we've actually had a, a successful um, result as a result of our trade liberalization processes. OK. All right, so that's it. Um, Let's see if I can finesse it and give give them a diagram. I mean, should we uh, include like the negative effect of globalization as well? Yeah, you can, but maybe I'll do that in finance and investment. Yeah. So in investment, I would say even though we might have lots of profits, they usually go back to the original country in which place the investment in. So we only receive maybe jobs, employment, but the profits go back to yes. overseas. Yeah, Shwin. So if you say how it decreased economic growth, it has to be, you, you have to first say that it decreases one of those things, like that the components. The right? Yeah. That shows your economic finesse. You've got to go through the steps. Yeah, how's he? For every stat, you need a year. Hmm? For every stat, you need a year. Yes. So that's why I said research is really, if you haven't done your research, boys, what is the point of showing how good you are, Andy? you get away with it if you're like fossil fire. Yeah, that's fine, but remember we're reading a lot of the same thing, so if we see that there's so disparities. As a market, do you actually research it or what's that? Um, we've got a research sheet, yeah. <laughs> so, so I would do the same research sheet like this, I would have a sheet of things that could possibly be said. Yeah, Nathan? Um, wait, so is this like technically like a more advanced level of like um, the coin? 
Yeah, yeah. So because it's two questions, so what I'm trying to do is smush it together. Okay. Yeah. So is this close enough? It's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right, and just remember that you need to have your link. Okay.